Welcome to this video, which is all about doing business with a Libran. How do you do that? What about the fact that you are totally different? You have the temperament that is so not Libra-like. And what if you don't like even the downside of the Libra temperament and you've got to deal with the Libran at your work office a whole day, eight hours a day, or even maybe more? Or you have a boss that is a Libran, or you have some clients that are Librans and you want to communicate better with them. You want to trust them more. You want that they trust you more. Let's put it that way. How do you do that? Well, there are two things. This is all about getting in line with people so that the trust is growing, so that you can communicate better and that you can get along better. And if you have a certain project, if you have something, a goal that you want to work to, towards, that you can get these people on the same page and at the same, in the same boat, so to speak. You can do, of course, two things. You could say, that person is so dreadful, you know, I'm not getting into that, which is fantastic, which is fine. I mean, that's an important choice to make um, if you don't want to deal with that. But you can also say, hey, look, um, there's something in it for me. I do respect that other person. So what can I do to better align myself? Now, if you yourself have a lot of uh, planets in, in Libra energy, this probably won't be that big of a deal unless you deny your own Libra energy, then it can be a problem. But um, mostly when you are yourself not very Libra-like, um, it could be a bit difficult for you to get at that on that same page. Like for me, in, for instance, I have moon in Aries, so I want to be straightforward. I want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I don't want to, you know, dancing around and getting the peace all of the time. I don't want to do that. That's not my temperament. Is that bad? Of course not. I am who I am, and I'm respecting that. But I'm also respecting someone else who's not like that. I mean, don't we all take ourselves too much as a standard at times? We do. And um, if you were from that standpoint, from I want to understand the Libra and where they are coming from, then you will be sure that you can attain way more with the Libra than you might do when you're not doing that. Now, how does this work? This works as the following in understanding where these people are coming from in not wanting to change them because that's not up to you. You can only, you know, changing yourself or working on yourself is great. It's not up to you, but just making the fact even that just they're listening to you might be your one of your goals. How do you do that? Well, to understanding this Libra energy. So for me, for instance, for the Aries energy that wants to do things yesterday, you need to understand that this person, when let's say I have a boss who, um, who is a Libran and I have a plan for a project, if I'll do my style, which is fantastic, you know, but it's not, he's not even, or she is not gonna, even gonna listen. I mean, it, which is normal, which is human nature. So you adapt yourself. And you don't put yourself down, but you adapt yourself and you're saying, okay, they, uh, you have the respect, you accept that they have to think about it a couple of nights even, uh, your project, you accept that. You accept that they're coming from another place. Uh, a Libra is very interested in relationships. So whatever it is that you want to do with that person, consider the relationship. What if you're having, for instance, you're gonna, ha you're having a client, you want to sell a huge project or whatever, consider what it has as an impact, positive or negative, impact on the relationships, on the people, because that is what a Libran is interested in. They are ruled by Venus and they are an air sign. So relationships are crucial, are very important. They don't want to have, they want to keep the peace. So keep that in mind that that person is starting from there. And what it, whatever it is that you're doing, uh, try to understand that. If you are someone who needs to work with a person like that and you're saying they're a hypocrite, you know, which might be sometimes the case, 
because they say yes and then they say no it just they, they want to ease and please everyone um, try to understand that that's they, they they're doing that because they have a need to belong they have a need to be accepted and uh, that it's coming from there you don't have to change them but you can see it and accept it and then you can do whatever you want to do in, in communicating with these people but not trying to fight that because that's just you know you won't get nothing then for sure um, so dealing with Librans again be gentle be friendly a Libran uh, will really really appreciate that use your charm you know we all have it somewhere <laughs> we all have it use it use your charm they will feel good around you they will trust you and they will listen what it is that you're gonna say it depends but they will at least listen to you and um, so talking about this and that talking about light things don't go too deep with the Libran um, but be gen that gentleness and of course again uh, if you want to make an impact on a Libran on a positive way not because it is totally different than you but you want to uh, that they um, that, that, they, that they gain a bit of trust with you present yourself in a beautiful way present your, take your nicest clothing that you have um, again you don't have to force yourself to do that but you, we all have some nice clothing somewhere mostly we have one suit or whatever when you are a man use that because you know a Libran likes that even when you don't give any about that a Libran does and you're just getting on the same page so that they at least want to listen to you if you're implementing those things a Libran will listen to you and um, you have to you know if they're taking it what you're saying or not that's up to them but at least you will be hurt and because why is that because they are hurt and they are seen and this all happens of course also on an energetic level so we are on an energetic level towards the Libran be gentle be be not too fast be a bit slow don't try to rush things um, you know if, if you're like me the Aries you know you want to do this in five minutes it's not gonna work take your agenda take half an hour and just accept that accept that this person needs a half of an hour etc etc I hope you get the gist out of this having said that give me your comments what you think about doing these things and uh, how does it work for you or how does it not work for you let me uh, um, let me know and let other people know thank you so much for, for listening and uh, see you next time